Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode we talked about whether people who don't like feeling happy would enjoy heavenly happiness. This time, how much can we trust the other inhabitants of heaven? All of the inhabitants of heaven are called saints, but these saints come in two types, humans and angels. Humans reach heaven, for the most part, by dying. At that point, they're moved into an eternal realm, and they've made their final choice about whether or not to follow God's will. Those who reject God flee from heaven, rather than entering it. Those who accept God are eventually admitted into heaven. Once they do so, their choice is made, and due to being brought to heaven and admitted into an eternal life, they never have to make it again. In short, the saints in heaven have decided to follow God, and will never change their minds about that. The angels are different in a lot of ways. They're pure spirit instead of both spirit and body, like humans, and they've always existed in heaven since they were first created. The angels also needed to make a permanent choice about whether or not to serve God, and like the human saints, they made their choice correctly. They won't change their minds either. So, really, the question isn't whether we can trust the angels and saints, but rather, what can we trust them to do? We can trust them to continue doing the will of God, being happy, and giving glory to Him. We can trust them to do what's right, and we can always trust them to do that forever. Next time, is eternity anything like being frozen in time? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.